everybody. This is April. We're going to be doing a nice classic Pilates mat class today in celebration of starting the new year off. This is the first class that I've posted since 2021. So we'll have a nice class. We're going to actually go through all of the repertoire today, and I will give modifications for some of the harder movements. So let's get moving. We're going to go ahead and start with our 100. So go ahead and grab the backs of your legs, roll back onto your mat, arms at the side of the body. Let's do a quick body check. Shoulder blades flat against the mat. Tailbone heavy and neutral. You can imagine that little teacup balance right on top of your pelvis. Melt the front of the ribs down so you feel the back part of your ribs on the mat. Shoulder blades, just pull those back a little bit more if you let them roll off when you melted the ribs down. Now we're gonna tip the imaginary teacup towards our belly button so we're coming into imprint. Bring the legs to tabletop. We're gonna go feet together, knees slightly apart today. Tuck chin to chest and come up into your first ab press. The low spine is gonna stay on the mat. You can keep your legs here or send the legs out and turn out and let's pump those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, navel to the spine. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Squeeze the legs together if they're out. Exhale, three, four, five, 30. 40. 50. 60, look right at your belly button. 70. 80. Curl a little deeper, 90, last 10. 100, rest, hug the knees in, deep breath in and out. Now we're gonna send our legs long to the bottom corners of the mat. Press the body into the mat. So you feel like you're narrowing your hip bones in the front of the pelvis, and you feel the back part of your rib cage come onto the floor. Take the arms overhead, right into the roll up. Arms come up, tuck chin to chest, and we're going to roll up, relaxing the feet, stretch past the leg. Shoulders down, think about pulling up and in through the core. And then we're gonna scoop and roll back down one bone at a time, pointing the toes. Take an inhale, stretch those arms overhead. Exhale, tuck to the chest, roll back up. Flex the feet, big stretch forward. Scoop and roll back. We're gonna do two more here today. Exhale, rolling up. Just Feel the spine off the mat, big stretch. Scoop and rolling back. One last time. Big stretch. And scoop and roll back. Take the arms up to the ceiling, point the toes, and then open the arms out to the side like the letter T and bring the legs and hip width apart. We're gonna take our right leg high for single leg circle. You can work in a slight imprint, crossing your midline. Hip comes off the mat, but not the shoulder. Circle down, out to the side, and up. Now, as that right leg goes out to the side, you're going to pull the left rib and hip back onto the mat. So you're anchoring through the body so that just the leg is circling in the hip joint. Four more times, and then we're going to reverse the circle. Three. Really stretch out through that leg. Two. And one. We're going to take our leg up to the ceiling and let's reverse it out to the side. Down, cross your midline. Circle back up. So again, as the weight of that leg goes out to the side, the left rib and hip, so the obliques on that left side are working to keep the body from lifting off the mat. Three more times. Three. And stretch two, leg getting longer one more time. Give the leg a quick hug in towards the body to release the hip flexor. And then take the right leg down to the side, arms out to the side, sorry, right leg down to the floor, arms out to the side, left leg lifted up. Cross the midline, hip comes off, not the shoulder circle down, out to the side and up. So this time we're going to keep the right rib and hip down onto the mat as we do our circle. 
Inhale for half of it, exhale for the half lift, two more this direction. We're gonna meet with our leg up to the ceiling. Let's reverse it. Make sure that leg is turning out as you let it fall out to the side. Right obliques are working to anchor the body into the floor and onto the mat as the weight of your leg goes to the side. Three more times here. Three. Really stretch through that leg, two. One more. Hug the knee in, give it a quick hug in. We're going to pull the right knee in, kind of centering the hips onto the mat for rolling like a ball, bringing your hands down towards your ankles so your feet stay tucked to your bottom. Tuck chin to chest, we're going to curl up, keep looking at your belly button and start to use a little momentum to start your rolling like a ball. Once you reach the top, you're going to stop right at the back of the sit bones without your feet touching. And then it's that pulling back through the pubic bone and the belly button that takes us back onto the mat. Remember when that you're rolling back, you're coming right to the top of the shoulder blades. Make sure you're not rolling onto your neck. And we're looking down at our belly button the whole time, keeping our knees tucked in towards our forehead. Let's do that three more times. Inhale back. Exhale up, quick little balance and do it again. Inhale back, exhale up one more time. We're going to place our feet on the mat, sit up nice and tall, grab right underneath the leg and scoop, rolling back one bone at a time. Start to bring the right, sorry, the left knee in. Left hand is going to go to your ankle, right hand to the inner part of the leg. Let's work in a slight imprint. We're gonna send the right leg out for single leg stretch. As you switch legs, you switch hands. So the outside hand goes to the ankle, and then the opposite hand goes to the inner part of the knee. And we're just touching today, touching, touching. This is our classic single leg stretch. Reach out through the leg, like you're hitting a bullseye with your toes. We're anchoring through the hips, maintaining our imprint. Curl a little deeper and let's double time it. Four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in, roll the head side to side if you have any tension in your shoulders. We're gonna go right into double leg straight stretch. The goal is to keep your curl. So we'll imprint, legs come back to tabletop. The hands are gonna rest just above the knees, on top of the knees or shins. Tuck to the chest and curl back up into your little ab press. Low spine stays on the floor. We're gonna take the arms overhead and the legs out. And I want you to stay curled up. Circle the arms, exhale, pull your knees back in. Inhale, reach, hit that bullseye, exhale, pull it in. So as the arms go up and the legs go out, you're resisting your low back arching off the floor. Three more. Two more. One more. And rest, rolling the head side to side to release any tension in the neck and shoulders. We're gonna send our legs down onto the mat, pressing the body into the floor, take the arms overhead. Just make sure your legs are as wide as your mat. And we're gonna do a roll up to come up into spine stretch forward. So instead of taking a stretch forward, we're gonna stack our shoulders right over our hips, turn the palms so they face down, flex the feet. Now, if your hamstrings are tight and it makes you sit to the back of the sit bones and you feel gripping in here, just soften the knees a little bit so that you can release the hip flexors and find the sharpest points of the sit bones. Shoulder blades back and down. We're gonna take the arms high, arms by your, or uh, uh, biceps by your ears. And the first movement is we're going to scoop up and in through our core. So you're feeling the hip bones narrow, and you're feeling this pulling in because you're embracing, not because you're sucking in. 
you're bracing. And then we're going to go up and over, staying right on the sit bones. And as you go up and over, you keep pulling up and in through the core. Really flex the feet so you feel the upstretch through your spine, and maybe even into the back of your leg. From here, we're going to restack all the way back up. And trying to keep the arms by our ears. Pull up again and up and over. Stay right on the sit bones. Flex the feet, feel that stretch. Keep your arms by your ears as you restack. Shoulders down. Two more times, up and over. Relaxing the feet. Restacking. So we're really just flexing through the upper middle part of our back. Maintaining that neutral placement for a pelvis, up and over. Inhale, restack all the way back up and lower the arm. Feels good to get that nice stretch through your upper mid back. So the next one we're going to do is open leg rocker. Make sure I have that right. <laughs> so we're going to scoop to the back of the sit bones, grab underneath your knees and just bring your knees up like the letter V. You lift your feet up so your feet and knees are in the same plane. This is an option one. Option two, a little bit harder. You're gonna reach up, grab the ankles and extend your legs. To balance here, we're gonna lift the upper mid back. You're feeling that scooped up and in sensation that we just had for our spine stretch forward. And that's what's gonna take us back onto the mat. So you're gonna scoop to roll back, and then exhale, come right back up, lifting your upper mid back at the top. And again, scoop to roll back. Exhale, come right back up, balance. So it's gonna be a little bit slower than our rolling like a ball because our legs are nice and straight and long. If you're here, it might be a little bit faster, but you're still working on keeping the knees in that V shape. Let's do three more. Just like rolling like a bow, make sure you don't roll onto your neck. Keep looking at your belly button. As you come to the top, you can look forward between the ankles. One more time. Balance, and then we can lower the legs down. Take a stretch forward, flexing the feet, just like we did for a roll down. And we're gonna scoop and roll back one bone at a time, taking the arms to our side. Bend the knees, place your feet on the mat. Next exercise is corkscrew. So imprint, bring your legs up to the ceiling. We're gonna shift our legs to the left. We're pulling the right rib and hip onto the floor like we did for our single leg circle. So what happens is the right leg's gonna get shorter than the left leg because you're keeping the hip down. You're gonna do kind of like an oval shape, keeping your imprint. And as you go to the other side, the left rib and hip are staying on the mat. So the left leg gets shorter, the right leg is longer, and then we circle back up to the ceiling, both legs, same length. We're gonna reverse it. As we shift our legs to the right, left leg gets longer, right leg is, sorry, left leg is shorter, right leg is longer, do your oval. As you shift your legs to the left, right leg is shorter, back to the ceiling. So let's go ahead and try to pick up our pace a little bit. You're only lowering the legs, doing the bottom part of your oval, only as low as you can keep your imprint. Shoulder blades are staying on the mat, and so is the rest of your spine. Hips stay still. So you're not feeling one hip come off the mat. Our weight is centered on our sacrum. One more time, everybody. We're gonna hug the knees in just to release that work to our hip flexor. Take the legs down, but open them wider than your mat. So if you feel the edges of your mat, just open them a little bit wider. Take the arms overhead. And we're gonna bring the arms up, tuck to the chest, roll up, just stacking the shoulders right over your hips. 
Relax the feet, take the arms up to the side for soft. So again, if your hamstrings are tight, just soften the knees a little bit to release the hip flexors and release the hamstring, finding the sharpest points of the hip bone. We're gonna get nice and tall, so keeping the ribs down, feeling that stretch through your spine, keeping even weight on the hips. We're trying not to move anything from the waist down. We're gonna rotate to the left. Take your right arm and reach across like you're gonna saw off your left pinky toe. You're looking back at your left hand. And we're pressing that right hip onto the mat. We're gonna do four pulses. One, two, three, four. Restack the spine, keeping your twist. And then come back to center. Again, get taller, rotate to the right. Take your left hand like you're reaching across the soft, your right pinky toe. Look at your right hand and anchor your left hip onto the floor. Pulse four, three, two, one. Restack the spine all the way back up. And let's do it again to the left. Reach across four pulses. Inhale, restack. Exhale, twist the center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, reach across. Quick little inhale, four pulses. Inhale back. Exhale to center one more time each way. Last one. and rotating back to center. We're gonna bend the knees, cross the ankles, roll over the feet and the knees, and lowering all the way down onto our stomach or swan dive. I'm gonna build it up to the full swan dive, working from the modified version all the way up. So we're gonna bring our hands right underneath our shoulders. Legs are turned out, hip width apart. You're feeling like your belly button is suction cupping up away from the floor as you lengthen the tailbone to the heels and straighten your knees. We're going to lift the chest and head. Pull the belly button in deeper. From here, lift your hands to make sure you're using your core and the muscles in your back. Take the legs, reach them straight out. So now we're, our body's in the shape of a rocking horse. We're going to then use the arms to rock up and down. So you're rocking on your pelvis. As you go down, you keep the heart lifted and the legs come up. As you go up, the heart just lifts up higher, the legs go down. Now start to release and catch. Release and catch. Release and catch. Now reach out, palms up and catch. Your rocking will be slower and you'll come closer towards your chest. Right into full swan dive for five. Keep those arms out. Four, three, use your core. Two, one, and shell stretch. Arms to the side of the body, rest the forehead on the floor. Couple deep breaths in and out here. We want to counteract the extension through our back, which is why we want a rounded spine. Go ahead and restack the spine nice and slow here. And then we're going to come back onto our stomach for our single leg and double leg kick. We're going to be up on the forearms, shoulder blades back. You still want to feel like your belly button is pulling up and away from the floor, even if it's not on the floor. You still want that kind of suction cup feeling through the belly button. That means you're bracing the core. The legs are going to be in parallel, so the toes and knees are facing down. We're going to bend the right knee, keeping the hip bones on the floor. Pulse your heel to your bottom one time. Now flex your foot, pulse it again. Point the toe, stretch it away to lower it down. Same thing on the left, we'll go slow first, bend the knee, 
pulse the heel to your bottom without your bottom popping up. Now flex your foot, do it again. Point the toe, stretch the leg away to lower back down. So let's go ahead and try it a little faster. We're gonna point, pulse, flex, pulse, reach it away. Point, pulse, flex, pulse, reach it away. Point, pulse, flex, pulse, stretch it away. Point, pulse, flex, pulse, stretch it away. The breathing is an exhale. Inhale, stretch it away. So it's like two little pulsing exhales. Keep lifting the belly. Let's try it a little faster, two more times each way. Now we're gonna do both legs. Really resist the tendency to allow your butt to stick up like that, which means you're arching the low back. You're gonna get a lot of tension there. So keep that lift in the belly button. The pulsing might be lesser range of motion because we're doing both legs and that is okay. Shoulders down, keep the belly lifted, keep the heart lifted. Point both feet, we're going to bend, flex, or sorry, bend, pulse, then flex, pulse, Point both toes, reach away. A little faster, point, pulse, flex, pulse, reach it away with the breath. So as you pulse, you really gotta lift up on your core. Feel that belly button suction cupping away from the floor. Two more. One more. And shell stretch. Counteracting the extension through the spine. Deep breaths in and out. Restacking the spine nice and slow. And then we're gonna bring our hands forward, cross the ankles, roll over the feet, and scoot your body forward onto the mat. All right, neck pull is next. Very similar to the roll down, except it's a little harder because we don't have the weight of the arms. I will cue releasing the arms if you need the weight of them. For the first one, I'll cue that and you can keep doing that. And then the last three, I'm gonna keep my hands behind the head. So you choose when you're at home to release the arms if you'd like. So we're gonna flex the feet. Stacking the spine, shoulders over hips, soften the knees if you need to. Lace your hands together and bring them behind the head of the base of the skull. Actually lace your fingers together so your hands don't pull apart. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, keeping the ribs down, sharpest points of the sit bones, and we're going to lean back with a flat back. Keep the legs on the mat. When you can't lean back anymore, you're gonna start to tuck the tail under and roll back onto the floor. Point the toes here. Now this is where you can release your arms. Tuck chin and chest, roll back up. Flex the feet, stretch forward, bringing your hands back to the base of your skull, laced fingers. Now flexing the feet right away, you're gonna feel a stretch in your spine. We're gonna restack our spine tail to head. And as you do that, I want you to push your hands into your head and your head into your hands. You're going to feel your chin dropping down towards your chest when you're restacking, and that's where you get that pull through the neck. So we're stretching out the muscles along the spine and the cervical spine. Let's do that again. Lean back, scoop and roll back. Inhale, pointing the toes. Release the hands if needed. Exhale, roll up. Relax the feet, dive forward. Restack the spine, press the head into the hands and the hands into the head. Ribs down as you lift the head. Two more times, lean. Tuck, roll back. Point the toes, roll up. Relax the feet, big stretch forward. Press the head into the hands and the hands into the head as you restack right on top of the sit bone. One more time, lean back, scoop and roll back. 
Point the toe, roll up. Flex the feet, big stretch forward. Re-step one more time, head into the hands, hands into the foot. Oh, and just release the hands at the top. Nice job, can you feel that nice stretch in the spine? All right, let me check my notes real quick, make sure we're on track. Scissors, bicycle, shoulder bridge. So let's go ahead and bend the knees. We're going to roll back for scissors. So we are going to work in a little imprint. We'll bring the right, left leg up or right. Grab a hold of the ankle, tucking chin to chest and curling up. Send the right leg out. Elbows are going to be wide. You're curling through the upper abs, so when you let go of your leg, you should be able to hold that shape. Now we're gonna pulse the legs away two times. Pulse, pulse, switch, and the legs are in parallel. Pulse, pulse, switch. If it turns out a little bit at the bottom, that's okay. Just give those legs a nice stretch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Breathing, exhale, exhale, inhale. So we're reaching away, reaching away, looking at the belly button. Arms to the side of the body if you want more of a challenge and just do four more total. And rest, roll the head side to side. Now for the next exercise, bicycle, we're going to do four total each way. And we're just going to do it. So I'm not going to talk too much through it. I will talk you through doing it as we're moving. But again, we're only going to do four each way. So two on each side, basically. Let's lace the hands together like we did for neck pull. Bring them right behind the head. So we're giving our neck a little break. Imprint, legs and tabletop. Tuck to your chest, curl up looking at the belly button. Take the right leg up, left leg out. Now we're going to bend the right knee. Reach the leg out as you lift the left leg. Stretch. Bend the left knee. Reach the leg out as you lift the right leg up. Keep anchoring through the hips and do that one more time each way. Now we're going to reverse it. So the left leg is out, right leg is up. We're going to bend the left knee, drag the foot along the floor. As you pull the knee in to stretch the leg up, lower the right leg. Again, bend the right knee, drag the foot along the floor. As you pull the knee in, reach your leg up, lower the left leg. One more time each way. And rest. So it's nice when you don't do a lot of reps, you can really work slowly and get that stretch and movement through the body. So we're going to go into shoulder bridging next. We're going to do the advanced version today. Feel free to just bring the leg to tabletop and hold it there if you want. So we're going to take the arms at the side. We are going to keep the arms at the side today to make it slightly easier. Deep breath in to prepare. On your exhale, imprint, roll up into your bridge. At the top, really focus on squeezing your glutes as hard as you can. Make sure the knees are hip width apart and the ribs are down. Your weight's at the top of your shoulder blades, not your neck. We're going to take our right leg through tabletop, reaching it up to the ceiling. Flex the foot, lower the leg so that the thighs are parallel. Point the toe, lift it back up. Three more times, flex lower, point lift. Two more, flex lower, point lift. One more, flex lower, point lift. Bend the knee, replace your foot, center your weight. Left knee comes up, reach it up. Flex lower, point lift. Flex lower, point lift. Two more. One more. Bend the knee, replace the foot on the mat, centering your weight. And we're going to soften through the heart, roll down bone by bone. Start to slide your legs straight as you bring your arms overhead. And we're going to roll up. Flexing the feet, take a stretch forward. Restack the spine. So my brain is funny because as we're doing our bridges, I'm realizing. We forgot the rollover, which is 
the third exercise is actually an exercise you do after the roll up. So I apologize about that. So just make sure if you're at home that you throw that in there. So I guess it's not a totally full class at class because I forgot that one. I apologize about that. The next one we're going to do is spinal twist. So feet are flexed as wide as your mat. Again, soften the knees if you need to. We're going to make a genie arm. Nice and tall through the spine, ribs down. Again, we're trying not to move anything from the waist down. We're going to rotate to the left. And you're going to do three pulses. Once you're twisting deeper, 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 coming back to center. And now to the right, twist and pulse one, two, three, back to center. Let's take those arms out to the side. Do it again, rotate. Keep the arms off to the side as you rotate. Two, three, back to center. Making sure that one arm, the back one, doesn't come forward. Rotate. One, two, three, back to center. One more time each way. Last one. And back to center. Rest. We're going to bend the knees. Grab underneath the legs, scoop and roll back for jackknife. Arms to the side of the body, imprint. Bring the legs to tabletop, crossing your ankles. Modified version for this and the roll up that I forgot to do is to do hip roll. So we're just lifting the hips up, trying to keep the shoulder blades against the mat. And you can think knees to shoulders here. So there, here's your modification for the jackknife. Jackknifers, we're going to take our legs up. You're going to think about the feet going up to deepen your imprint to go over. Your weight's going to be at your shoulder blades. Make sure you don't go on your neck. From here, we're going to engage the glutes, sending our legs up as high as we can stay balanced on the shoulder blades. And then we're going to roll back down bone by bone, keeping our shoulder blades against the mat. You can end with your feet up to the ceiling and an imprint. If you want to make it harder, keep your imprint, and you're going to add a lower and a lift. Feet go up to go over. We're only going to do two more. Reach up, so we're flexing the spine, opening up the hip joints. Roll back down, allowing your head to lengthen away from your body. End with your legs up and imprint, or add your lower and lift. One more time. We're going to add our lower lift, hug the knees in, and roll onto your left side. All righty. <clears throat> Make sure I'm on track. Side kick. So we're going to be up on our forearms, lift through the bottom ribs. We're only going to do six today on each side. Bottom foot, the bottom feet, bring them to the bottom front corner of your mat so your legs are slightly in front of you. Bottom foot can stay here. If you want more of a challenge, you're going to bend the knee and curl the toes under. Hook those toes onto the floor and then stretch that knee. You're going to feel more work through here in order to keep the ribs from dropping down like that. Top leg, we're going to lift it up hip width. Flex the foot. Keep this arm in front of you to act like a little kickstand. Make sure those shoulders are stacked as well as your head. We're going to swing the leg forward, pulse it two times. One, two. As you reach it past the bottom leg, you're thinking about your leg getting longer and you're going to turn out, reach it to the back corner of your room, keeping this leg anchored to the floor. The legs forward two times. Inhale, stretch it back. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Bend both knees, roll yourself to the other side. On the forearm, lift the wrists, make sure the shoulders, hips are stacked. Decide what you want to do with that bottom leg. Lift the top leg hip width, top hand in front to act like a kickstand. Flex the foot, bring it forward, two pulses. One, two, 
Now stretch it back. The leg gets longer than the bottom leg. Flex. Reach. Flex. Stretch. Three more. Two more. Last one. Bend the knees, push yourself up to roll back for T rivers. Let's work our way up from single leg teaser to advance. The legs together, palms face up. Take the right leg, reach it out. Legs are still together, knees and thighs. Tuck chin and chest, so we're gonna curl up, lengthening the tailbones of the heel. Stretch those arms up towards your foot. Keep reaching through the right leg, take the arms high. Scoop and roll back down. Keeping the leg out. Now bend the knee, replace the foot. Left side, leg reaches out, tuck chin to chest, roll up. Reach out through that left leg, keep reaching as you come up. We're coming right to the back of the sit bone. Take the arms high, scoop and roll back down. And bend the knee, replace your foot. Now we're gonna imprint, bring the legs to tabletop, tuck chin to chest, same thing, you're gonna roll up, but keep the legs in tabletop. So a little bit more work to balance. Take the arms high. Scoop and roll back as the arms float down to your side. Pull your knees in one more time like that. So really works the low abs and the hip flexors. Take a quick break. And doing that is going to build up that strength that you need to do the advanced version, which is what we're going to do next. So take the legs down, squeeze them together, palms face up. Tuck to the chest, start to curl the head and shoulders off the mat, lengthen the tailbone to the heel. Without your back arching, you're gonna lift those legs straight up into your full teaser. Your hamstrings are tight, just bend the knees a little bit at the top. We're gonna lower back down, make sure those legs are down when your low spine is on the mat. And then we lower the rest of the body. One more time. Bottoms of the feet together, let your knees be wide. Couple deep breaths in and out here, letting our heart rate come down, catching our breath. We're gonna bring our knees to one side, roll to that side and push yourself all the way up for hip twist. We're gonna lean back on our forearms today to make it a little easier. You can also do it up on your hands, which would look like that, fingertips facing away. Collarbones wide, make sure your, your elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Make sure you're not too narrow or too wide. And we're gonna resist the tendency to kind of sink inward like this. So we're gonna keep our back nice and lifted and long. Bring the legs to tabletop. Push the elbows into the floor so you feel that expansion through your chest. Legs go up. Now in this case, we are actually twisting our hips. So our legs are gonna to go to the left, the right hip comes off. We do a big circle down with the legs. Left hip comes off as you go to the other side and twist back to center. The legs are staying the same length, unlike corkscrew. And you are doing more of a circle with your legs instead of an oval. Inhale and exhale. Even weight on your forearms as best you can. Inhale and exhale. One more each way. And last one. Bottoms of the feet together. Just push yourself up into a butterfly stretch just to release those hip flexors for a moment. All right, we're gonna cross our ankles, roll over the feet and the knees to lie down on our stomach for swimming. Take the arms straight out. We're gonna start slow, work our way up to fast. Lengthen the tailbone to the heels. Legs can be turned out. Stretch the knees, lift the heart and the head. Suction cup your belly. So really pull it up and in. You feel like you're narrowing your hip bones in the front of the pelvis. And we're gonna lift the arms and the legs. Left arm, right leg lowers just a little bit and then we switch, switch, switch. So your body should feel like it is cemented to the floor. 
start to pick up your pace and then go right into swimming. We're gonna inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, four, four, count. Then in, two, three, four, and out. Pull the belly up and in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, and one more set, three, four, and out, two, three, and rest. We're going to go ahead and push ourselves all the way up into our shell stretch. Restacking the spine here, crossing the ankles, rolling over the feet and the knees for leg control front or leg pull front. We're going to squeeze the legs together, fingertips facing our body. Sorry, facing away. I had to think about that for a minute. They're facing away for this one. Shoulder blades pull back. No, I'm right. Fingertips facing your body. <laughs> Shoulder blades pull back. You're going to zip up your abs and press your hips up. We feel a nice stretch through our chest, our shoulders, our biceps, and then lower back down. Let's do that again. Press up. Lower back down. Now we're going to add on our leg work. We're going to do four on each side. Lift up. Stay here or take your right leg. Lift, flex, lower for four. Point, lift, flex, lower for three. Keep that right hip up. Two. One. Center your weight. Lift your hips a little higher. Left leg, point, lift, flex, lower. Point lift, flex lower, just two more. I know these are hard. One more. Center your weight, lift your hips higher, lower down. Wrap your arms around your knees, give your body a hug. Deep breaths in and out. Cross the ankles, roll over your feet and your knees for leg pull back. Same movement with the legs, only we're going to be holding a plank. Spread the fingers wide, press into the knuckles of your hands, and we're going to come into our plank position, shoulders right over hands. Right leg, point lift, flex lower. Keep the right hip down as you lift. Two more. One more. Lower the foot, center your weight, left side, point lift, flex lower. Left hip stays down as you lift that leg up two more times. Keep those abs engaged and rest. Let's go into a little shell stretch, catch our breath, a couple deep breaths in and out. And restack the spine, coming up into a kneeling position for side kicks, kneeling. We're going to take the arms up to the side, start to bring your weight onto your left leg, send your right leg out and come down onto the left hand. The right hand can go behind the head. Make sure the shoulders are square so you're not rotated down or up. Top hip also stays stacked. Bottom leg, we're gonna resist it doing that. So keep it put. Take that top leg, lift it up, just four. Flex, swing forward, two pulses. Point, reach it back. Two pulses. <sighs> Inhale back, keep that bottom shoulder back as your leg comes forward. One more time. Bend the knee, reach the top arm up, come all the way up. Start to shift your weight into your right leg, bringing the right hand down to force, kick that left leg out. Top hand behind the head, square the shoulders, bring that top hip forward. Lift your right leg, sorry, left leg. The left swing forward, two pulses. Point, reach it back. One more. Bend the knee, reach your top arm up, come all the way back up into that kneeling position. Now we're going to come down onto the left hip for side bending. The bottom foot's going to be, high, be behind the top foot. We're going to do three each way. The first one will keep the bottom knee down. And that's what you can do if you want the easier variation for the next two. 
or for the last two, I'll be doing the harder variation. Palm up on the knee, pull both shoulders back, press into the knuckles of your left hand. We're gonna push the hips up and forward, bringing our hips off the mat so our spine is straight. Exhale, arch over your mat. Inhale, back to that straight spine. Exhale, lower the hips. Again, inhale up, pass through, squeeze the legs together, arch over. Come back, bend the knees, hips go down. One more time, lift. Squeeze those inner thighs together if you're doing the advanced. That's what's gonna help you with your balance. And lower, other side, shake out that wrist as you're switching. Bottom foot behind the top foot. Top arm, palm up, wrist on the knee. Inhale, lift the hips so your spine is straight. Exhale, arch over your mat. Inhale, back to that straight spine. Exhale, slowly lower the hips. Inhale, pass through. If you don't want to stay on your knees, squeeze those thighs together. Exhale, arch over. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, lower the hips. One more time. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, up and down. Woo, shake out the wrists. Boomerang. We're going to cross the ankles. The first two, I will do a modification. We're going to leave out the latter part, and then we'll do two more with the balance and the teaser. Take the arms forward so you're getting a nice stretch. This is kind of like our calm before we work real hard. We're going to bring our hands to our hip. The goal is to keep this distance very close, so between the thigh and the chest. As you use your hands to push yourself back, you're going to lift your legs up, roll back to the top of the shoulder blades, switch the crossed ankles. Now you're going to roll all the way back up into that stretch forward. One more like that, hands at your hip, push back, lift those legs, Roll up, balance quickly to switch the leg, and then roll back up, tucking chin to chest to take your stretch. So you can continue to do that, holding your stretch as we finish the full boomerang. Next two, full boomerang. Hands at your hip, push back, lift those legs, switch your cross. Now, instead of lowering the legs, you're going to hit a teaser. So tuck chin and chest as you roll the hips down and hit a teaser. Keep your upper mid back lifted. You're gonna circle the arms, placing your hands right behind the small of your back. Stretch out your shoulders by straightening your arms. Lower the legs and then dive over the legs, reaching your arms high to stretch the shoulders. Really pull the abs up and in here. We're gonna gently release the hands coming back into our stretch. All right, one more full boomerang. Hands at your hip, push yourself back, lift those legs, cross, tuck chin and chest as you start to roll down through the spine. Hit your teaser, find your balance, stay there, keep lifting your upper mid back, keep pulling those abs in, circle the arms, place your hands together, straighten the arms, lower the legs, Dive forward, wash out those shoulders, round the spine, up, 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 pull up through the rib cage. And then release back into your stretch. And restack the spine all the way back up. Very nice job. So that's a fun one, it's a big stretch through the whole body. Next exercise is seal. So we're gonna bring the knees apart, Take the hands to the inside of the legs so that your ankles are now resting in your hands. And then you're just kind of notching your elbow right behind the knee or like right kind of at your inner thigh behind the knee. Toes together. We're going to tap the toes three times. One, two, three. Scoop and roll back. Try to balance. Tap again. One, two, three. Roll up balance. One, two, three. Three, roll back balance. One, two, three. So just like our rolling like a ball, or our open leg rocker, or our jackknives, or our bridges, you're trying to balance on the shoulder blades. 
One more. And rest. I don't normally teach crab, but we will go into it. Just be very gentle with the weight that you put on your head. So you're going to grab the feet, your legs are crossed. And from this position, we're going to scoop to the back of the sit bones. You're going to roll back just like seal. And we're going to come up, you're going to roll over the feet and the knees, bringing just a little bit of weight on the head. It doesn't have to be a lot. And as you do that, I want you to scoop through your belly. So you're sending your spine up to the ceiling instead of putting weight on the head. And then we're going to roll back, stay tucked, roll over the knees and feet, roll back, roll over the feet and knees, pull the belly up instead of thinking about putting weight on your head. And we're going to do that again one more time. And rest. So you can probably see why I don't normally teach that one. So just be careful as you go over. The weight here is none, if at all. So it's like very light. The focus is pressing the spine up to the ceiling without putting the weight here. So that's what I would do at home. So just be careful with that one. We're going to go into rocking next. We have three more exercises. So we're going to lie down on our belly, turn the head to one side, arms at the side of the body. If you cannot bend the knees and grab the feet, just come up into a full extension like so. Still with the same cues, pulling the belly up and in. We're going to bend the knees, grab the feet or ankles or heels. Start to lift your heart, turning your head to center. Pull the belly up and in, use that suction cup motion through the belly, and press the feet into the hands, hands into the feet. Keep the belly lifted. We're going to start to use a little bit of breathing to rock on the belly. One more, and rest, turning your head to the other side. Let's push ourselves into a shelf stretch. Cross the ankles, roll over the feet and knees, send your legs out. Two more exercises, control balance. So very similar to crab, just be careful with this one because we are bringing our legs over our head, we're trying to balance. Make sure you have room behind you because we're going to be lowering one leg at a time in our balance. I haven't done this one in a while, so if I lose it, just like you at home, find it again. We'll do a quick modification first because this is a definitely an advanced hard exercise. Imprint, bring your legs to tabletop, and you're going to do your hip lifts. Think knees to shoulders. That's what you'll do for our control balance. Control balance, we're going to lift our legs, lower, lift, just like your jackknife, you're going to bring your legs up to go over. We're going to keep our arms at our side today or on the mat today. Balance right at the top of the shoulder blades, just like jackknife, take the legs up a little bit, keep your balance. Now you should be able to see your hip bones. We're going to keep those hip bones in the same plane. And we're going to take our right leg and you're going to lower it behind your shoulder. Pull that right hip back as you do that. And then we're going to slowly bring that leg back up. Once it meets the left leg, we're going to go to the left. As you're bringing your left leg overhead, pull your left hip back. So you want to make sure that hip doesn't start to rotate forward. We're going to bring that leg back up. Let's do it again, right leg. Now as you do this, make sure your weight's on your shoulder blades, not your neck. We're gonna add a challenge by taking our left leg higher. Slowly bring the right leg back up. Left leg one more time. Pull that left hip back. Add a challenge by seeing if you can get that right leg up a little bit more. 
and slowly bring the left leg back up, legs together, and we're gonna roll down bone by bone, letting your head lengthen away from your body, and give the knees a little hug in. Circles with your knees on the ceiling. A little massage on your sacrum. We're gonna roll to one side, push ourselves up for our last exercise, which are push-ups. We're going to do six today, but we're gonna do the Pilates push-up where we lower down for a count of three and press up for a count of three. Make sure when you're doing your counts, you're not pausing on the count. So it's a one, two, three, one, two, three. The only time you really pause is maybe at the top, okay, when you're getting ready to do your next push-up. I will cue on the knees, and then I'm going to do them in a full plank because we're just doing six today, but feel free to do them also on your knees. Spread the fingers wide, come up into a plank with your legs together. For those of you who want to be on your knees, all you're going to do is bring your knees down. As you do that, your chest will lift up a little bit, and then you're going to cross the ankles. The front of the hip is still open. Make sure your butt's not back. So bring the hips forward. All right, elbows go slightly out to the side when we do our push-ups. Here we go. Lower. One, two, three. Push up. Two, three. Only lower down as far as you know you can push yourself up. Up. Two, three, four more, lower. Two, three, up. Two, three, lower. Two, three, exhale, lift your belly. Two more, lower. Two, three, up. Two, three, one more time. Two, three, up. Two, three, gently rest. And we'll rest in a little shell stretch again. Couple deep breaths in and out. Letting your heart rate come down. Catching your breath. Restack the spine all the way back up. Excellent class, everybody. So we did do a full class, except my brain forgot the roll over. I do believe that in last month's classic Pilates mat class, we did the rollover. So if you need a recap, you can work that in. You're going to put that in right after the roll-up. So it'll be the third exercise you do in today's class if you want to throw that in on your own. So again, that would be from December, the first December, or the, sorry, the first Wednesday in December is when I do, when I did the classic. It's always the first Wednesday of the month. So just check that out if you want to add that in, because I forgot. But other than that, we only missed one exercise because of me forgetting. So very nice class. Nice job going through the repertoire. Feels good. Body feels good. We're not spending a lot of time in either exercises. So next month, we'll do it again, the first Wednesday of the month. So stay tuned, and I hope to see you then. Make sure you like my video, too, if you did it and you like it.